Hello everyone, let's talk about crafting in RPG Builder. That's a pretty big system as you can imagine and I made sure to take the extra time needed to really make it as configurable and customizable as possible for you. So let's quickly get into it. As always, we will be looking at the editor because that's where most things happen. And crafting is um, currently under the general tab. So, uh, and it's split you know, in different modules. So first we have craft crafting recipes crafting stations and crafting trees. So already the video just started and you realize how big this uh, system is because it's already, you know, split in three different modules. So yeah, I kind of, you know, spent some nice time to uh, analyze and think of how I would structure the whole thing. I think I did a really great job at it. So I'm going to be explaining how it works for now. So we will be looking at crafting recipes. We can create a new one if you want. Um, let's um, let's look at the items we have right now. Uh, let's make the recipe for the trainee plate boots. So let's click new one, trainee plate boots. I think this is on the H underscore icon. Yeah. Um, so already. An important setting, you see that we have this um, known automatically setting. Um, I'm going to be adding tooltips to the entire editor, by the way. So um, there is going to be, you know, a description of each field, what they do extra. But right now, I'm going to explain to you. So if you tick this on, um, this means this recipe is going to be learned automatically when you create your character. So you're not going to have to learn it through a book or like by spending a point in a crafting tree or whatever. So we will take this on for now and then you simply need to assign a skill so in this case we will just put you know the blacksmithing skill and then a station type so we will make it so that this plate boot can be crafted on this crafting table i'm going to be showing those two things a bit later so now um just like abilities you might recognize the look of the um, editor here you see that we have a wrong system so um what is this for? You, you might be wondering because you know uh, you in most games you just have a crafting recipe. It is crafting a specific item and so on. But in RPG Builder, I wanted to make it even more interesting. So I ported the ability system with ranks and talent trees extra to crafting, and I'm also going to port it to gathering. Um, so if you add a new rank and you click on the rank now to open it, you see that we have a few settings here to play with. So let's say that rank one will give five experience. For example, it will take two seconds to craft. And um, here we have the list of crafted items. So we can make it craft as many different items as we want. If you would assign 10 items here, and if you meet the condition to craft it, it will craft 10 items. The chance to craft it. So this can also be increased later by items and consumables, abilities and stuff. But for now, we will just put it at 100 and we will make it uh, craft only one. But you will be able to, you know, craft 15 or whatever amount you want of this item. Um, and we say the trainee played boots. So right now, this recipe here um, will have a 100% chance to craft one uh, trainee played boot. But to be able to craft this, uh, we will need some components, right? So if we go to the component section, here, once again, you can add as many required components as you want. Uh, we will just add one for this video. But, um, well, no, actually, let's add two. Uh, we will be requiring two bars, two iron bars, and um, one iron ore. Doesn't really make much sense, but we don't care. It's just for the video. So if I go ahead and save this now, um, this recipe is of course going to be added to our list and now you see that we have um, all of that set up. Now we could you know, add a new rank if we wanted to um, and copy the values from above so we can start from here. And you see now this one is for example giving us 7 experience and is going to be crafted in 1.5 seconds and so on. We will not be playing around with ranks too much in this video because I'm not going to be showing too much of the crafting tree system. So now I uh, just want to show the crafting station module, very small for now, like it's re really not um, letting you choose a lot of things. It's just letting you create different crafting stations type. As you see here, we have crafting table. 
and that's why here in the um, uh, station here we could select crafting table and so if I go back to the crafting station we just have a distance max uh, this is just how far away can you interact with the crafting station and the skill it is um, related to so here for the crafting table which is what we're using in this video it's related to the blacksmithing skill now if I go to the blacksmith skill here so skills blacksmithing you see that it's type crafting it has a level template um, it's not a video about skills so I'm not gonna go too much in detail about this but what is really important to look at is that skills have both a list of crafting trees and gathering trees so what are those here you see that we have one crafting tree which is the blacksmithing one and now I'm going to be going to the third crafting modules, which is crafting tree. And here you can see that uh, we have the blacksmithing tree. So here it has a name, of course, it has a tree point, just like the uh, talent trees for combat um, have, so a tree point. This is the exact same thing, right? So this is the exact same system for combat, but ported to crafting. So it's basically working the exact same way but instead of learning upgrading and modifying your abilities you're doing these exact same things but with crafting recipes so in this case you see that instead of having a, a list of uh, abilities we have a list of recipes here we have a trainee plate chest trainee plate helmet trainee axe and now we will be adding our new recipe which is trainee plate boots so just like that um if i would go ahead now and hit save the blacksmithing crafting tree would no, now have the trainee plate boots. So it was probably a lot of information already um, in such a short time, but I want to go ahead, go in game now and show you how um, this actually looks in game and show you that the recipe we just added and uh, I mean created and then added to the crafting tree uh, will be, you know, on our player list and uh, we'll be able to craft it. So let's call this video crafting. All right, so here in game, um, let me quickly show you this crafting station here. So this crafting table, if you see me selecting it, you see that it has a crafting station component on it. And this has the crafting station um, uh, assigned to it so in this case crafting table not much uh, to set up here it takes one second to add this component and assign the right station but because it is on there um, we can now um, interact with it and it will open this uh, you know a crafting UI so here you see that because it has this station assigned and this station has the blacksmithing uh, skill attached to it it means that now we are looking at a crafting panel of the blacksmithing skill with crafting table station, meaning that this will only show the crafting station, uh, this will only show the crafting recipes which have skill blacksmithing and crafting table assigned. So you could have multiple crafting station um, used for a same skill, but then it will not show the recipe which are not crafted on this table here, right? So here we can see a list. So of course you have on the left the list of recipes and on the right it's showing you, you know, information about these recipes, like what they require to be crafted um, and what they will actually craft. So we are right now looking at the trainee axe. It is showing us that we need one iron bar and five iron ore and it will be crafting one trainee axe. Then now the trainee boots. So this is the recipe we just created. Two iron bar, one iron ore, it's exactly what we um, set it up to be. The trainee plate chest, trainee plate helmet, and so on. So let's add ourselves some items, and so we can craft this. Let's add ourselves a few iron bar and a few ores. If we now open the crafting uh, panel again, you can see that it is still saying that we don't have enough resources for the trainee axe because we only have two iron ore and we're missing three for that, right? So it's showing red here. Um, but we can craft the trainee boots, trainee plate chest, and trainee helmet. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft the boots. Oh, and you see in our bag, the boots just appeared and we of course, you know, lost the um, resources. So let's craft the helmet, I guess. And that's it. So now we have helmet and boots and we look kind of funny. 
but yeah that's pretty much it for the um how to set up a crafting recipe um how to link it to a specific crafting station then a crafting station in game you know will let you open this crafting panel it will only show the um corresponding recipes and so on now for the crafting trees uh, part which we see here as you see right now this crafting um these crafting recipes were learned um, automatically because that's what we told it to be um, here for example automatically learn but um, the goal for that is like I explained a bit earlier to have a crafting tree just the same way you have combat trees so if you're not familiar with that um, here for example we can learn the fireball ability or the um, I don't know like the flamethrower ability for example so you learn it from your trees and then you you know you can now uh, use them uh, in combat and stuff so the exact same way um that you have this for combat you will have this for crafting meaning that here instead of um having abilities you will have um, recipes and passives for example a passive can give you plus five percent crafting time or plus two percent crafting uh, success rate and stuff like that and on the bottom you will have all your different you know crafting trees and so on so this part is not fully implemented yet and it's going to be its own video later but i just wanted to give, you know an overview and idea of what it's going to be so i hope you like it i hope it was um easy enough to understand i really think it's going to give you a lot of possibilities because i didn't show you that i want to keep this for the uh, crafting tree video but you can have a lot of different requirements for your crafting recipe so Point spent, class level, skill level, items on, ability known, another recipe known, and so on. Once again, not gonna go in detail right now about this, but this is a very cool system. And concerning crafting recipes, um, keep in mind that you will not only be able to learn them through the trees or automatically, but you will be able to learn them, for example, from an item. So an item, you could have like a recipe item, you right click it and it will teach you an ability or uh, in the world maybe you could interact with an object in the world and it's going to teach you a specific recipe so i think this is all really cool i hope you like it i hope you think so too and i can't wait to see what you're gonna do with that thank you for watching and see you in the next video